Earlier in the week, we told you about a new British comedy series, Urban Myths, planning to air a half-hour episode about a rumored Michael Jackson, Elizabeth Taylor, and Marlon Brando post-9-11 road trip. Well, immediately after the trailer was released and people saw Joseph Fiennes as the late king of pop, backlash on social media, and even more so with Jackson's family began. Well, we have got an update for you. In response to the Jackson family criticism, the broadcaster said it's definitely going to pull the episode. Mm. Meanwhile, we did just find out that a different MJ project is in the works. Lifetime will begin production on a made-for-TV movie about the final years of the pop star's life. And Navi, the number one Michael Jackson tribute artist, will step into the title role. That is actually great casting. That guy's amazing. Now, moving on to Ed Sheeran, the 25-year-old took a year-long break from social media and the spotlight to travel and live his life. Well, lucky for us, guys, he is back and already making headlines. Though these are headlines of a different sort. In an interview with the Breakfast Club radio show, he revealed that as soon as he stopped touring, he, quote, ballooned and doubled in size. Well, guess what? He lost 50 wow. pounds by eliminating one thing from his diet. What's that? Are you ready for it? Everyone's listening. Beer. My goodness. Beer. How much beer was he drinking? Beer. Well, Craig Melvin lost about seven pounds from eliminating beer. It wasn't beer. <laughs> it wasn't just beer, though. Beer. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. awesome. All right, meanwhile, wait, this is really good. So he paid a visit to another radio show and revealed some serious Fresh Prince of Bel Air skills. On the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing and relaxing, all cool and all shooting some b ball outside of the school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good they started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, and my mom He's got pretty scared. much she my said, good person. Good. Auntie and Uncle to Bel Air. He's great. <laughs> yeah. He's great. I should mention that Sheeran's third studio album drops on March 3rd. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, okay, guys, last but not least, what's a star to do if his or her movie didn't win any Golden Globe Awards? Well, if you are Ryan Reynolds and your movie is Deadpool, you try to get the attention of Oscar voters. How do you do that? By taking to Twitter with your own rendition of a For Your Consideration video highlighting just how much went into making Deadpool. 600 pounds of Jimmy Jongas, 117 script pages, three good balls, and a fourth that's broken. Did I leave the stove on? 42 rejection letters from Fox, and 783 million fans for your consideration. <laughs> Fake laugh, hiding real pain. Deadpool. Another That's one that funny. we love. Um, by the way, guys, <laughs> Harvard just named Reynolds the 2017 Hasty Pudding Man of the Year. There it's good go. to be Ryan Reynolds. Right. I love Always. the big laugh. <laughs>